if you're not having difficult conversations, you're going to have difficult relationships. I think that if we can build diverse teams, we're more likely to have those. I have kept people on my executive team that, you know, 90% of the time, um, you know, the way that they're thinking about something is totally different than the way that I would think about it or the way that I would approach it. And I actually love having them around just because of their perspective being different than mine. With our partnership with Long Ridge, we put a new piece of art on the wall that kind of celebrate and commemorate that day. And it, it basically reads, start small, dream big, scale fast. But certainly as you're scaling fast and you're going from 30, 40, 50 people to 1,500 people, how did your leadership style evolve? Well, trust is, is ultimately uh, built on relationships, right? So you, you have to get to know and understand people. You have to uh, be willing to invest in them. You have to be willing to invest in those relationships. If we want to, you know, build a business that's not just successful today, but it's successful in the future, then we have to be willing to disrupt the status quo. We have to disrupt the traditional ways of thinking. Um, for us as a technology business, it's incredibly important for us to be innovative. Well, we can't innovate if we continue to do what's expected or the, you know process things the way that they that they always have been done. We constantly have to be willing to disrupt and challenge that status quo. Thank you.